Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lisa and in today's video, as you guys can see, I'm going to be doing my favorites in January and this is a new year. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that the monthly favorites kind of fell off in 2023, but I have decided to bring it back for 2024 because honestly, it was some of my favorite things to kind of share with you online. So I'm bringing it back my usual categories. I love doing beauty and jewelry. And after that, it's just kind of a little bit miscellaneous. Sometimes I'll do home products. Sometimes I'll be doing clothing, but mostly it's always jewelry and beauty. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get the video started. Starting with the jewelry category. These are my favorite products from Monica Vinegar, And I would like to thank them for also sponsoring this video today. So if you guys are new to Monica Vinegar, you guys can check out a lot of my hauls from them here. You guys can see the videos. And also you can check out my website, lisaway.com slash Monica Vinader. You will be able to see every single thing I own from them already. And it also includes 20% off in the website or even down below in the description. So for this month, I got a, quite a few things and I'm going to be starting with my favorite item that I got from them, which is this diamond tennis bracelet. It has really big diamond components. I feel like this one is a little bit more flashy and for her products, I actually do wear all the time everywhere even to shower whatever etc even though it is gold vermeil not saying it's recommended but a lot of her products that i do do that for especially an entire summer in greece i've just never seen it go bad i think that's just a testament on the quality of her products mostly because a lot of the times the bracelets it's hard for me to take on and off so i like to just keep them on the second bracelet that i got this time i also absolutely love is this one right here this bracelet i've just always been in love with because i have the necklace version of this in both gold and silver. This is the silver version. And every time I've ever worn this necklace, everyone always asks me where it's from. I just feel like this is such a great statement piece for special occasions and especially for summer. I don't know why every time I go on vacation, I just really, really, really love wearing my Monica Vinader jewelry. But this month I've actually been wearing this the entire month on my wrist and I'm actually going to Mexico soon as well. So I'm super excited because I'm definitely going to be wearing this for this bracelet, because if you see the clasp on this bracelet. It is actually very, very easy to put on. I also really like it because I feel like it blends in seamlessly. Instead of using a lot of the lobster clasps, you guys know what I'm talking about. I feel like it doesn't blend in as seamlessly. So for both of these bracelets, what I really like about it is just it all around just kind of looks very seamless. Even this clasp over here, it's still very minimal and it's not like it's dangling or anything. So I really, really like that. And also obviously it's just very comfortable as as well. And yes, there is comfort in jewelry. Okay. Cause some jewelry pieces are pretty scratchy or they're very edgy, but I feel like the design of her jewelry is always nice because everything's always smoothed out around the edges. And then when you wear it, it's just also very comfortable. The next item that I got this month is this ring right here. So this is a collaboration with Kate Young. And I feel like this one honestly is going to be a very just like personal style for me. I'm trending towards more bold pieces and more fashionable pieces. I definitely don't think this is considered a minimal piece or an everyday piece. However, I am trying to create and kind of curate a more statement collection, especially when it comes to Monica Vinader. So I have absolutely been loving this product. I've been wearing it all month and every single time I'm kind of at an influencer event, I just find that all the fashionable girlies are always commenting on it because once the fashion girls think your outfit is a hit, then you know you did it right. So this is kind of the vibe for this ring. So the next product that I got, I also got these two earrings. So the first pair of earrings I wanna share with you is this one right here. This has a bar and then with a pearl dangling down, I just really, really, really like this piece because I feel like I'm quite picky when it comes to my pearl and gold pieces because I feel like there's sometimes a way for it to look sort of grandma-y. So I personally, whenever I like to wear pearls, I like to wear the type of pearl earrings that are a little bit more edgy. And I think that this has that component, especially if you look at the top, it's not just like a random bar. It's literally like just this really edgy bar that goes up. It just kind of reminds me of like a dagger. I don't know. And I love that it's incorporated with a very feminine piece. So it has that like feminine and masculine component to it. I've been wearing these earrings all month, especially for special occasions 
occasions. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I've been wearing them all month, but I just know that my mom is gonna see it. I just, I, I always give it to her anyway, also if she wants it, but if she kind of steals it, you'll know. Okay, the next earring that I got are these threaders. I can't really fully review these threaders. If you guys are not new to this video, you guys will know that I like to use the product to for the entire month for me to give a proper review. That's why I don't feel confident reviewing the threaders, but I also don't feel like there's much to review because I have threaders in the past and it's honestly kind of just seems very similar. The way that I'm wearing it right now is just, I'm kind of wearing it and it's dangling. However, the way I really like to wear it, I like threading it through my first piercing hole and then going to the second one. I just think it looks really nice and really, really cool because it's basically one earring going through two of your piercing holes. The other thing about this, this piece that I want to call out is that on the website, it sells one, okay? It sells one. And the reason I know is because I ordered it and I was like, hello, did I lose the second piece? Or like, did the person that was delivering, did they lose the other piece? But it turns out that it is sold singly. So if you are planning to buy two, make sure you double click that button because it comes only in one. But anyway, this is what it looks like right now. You guys can see the diamond piece and you guys can see how it threads through. So usually I like to just take this piece and then thread it to another hole. And every single time I wear threaders, I always get so many compliments. So that's why I genuinely think you guys should check it out, especially if you have multiple piercing holes, because it just genuinely looks so cool when you put it on. The last jewelry piece that I got from Monica Vinader is this necklace right here. This one might look a little familiar to you guys. This necklace is also Monica Vinader, by the way, but it's not new and you guys know why I love it. I've already reviewed this, but this one is new, but it's not that new because I got the full gold version of this necklace. And if this necklace looks familiar to you, it's because I wore it all of last summer, like literally never took it off. Okay. I jumped in multiple Greek ocean island, whatever. You know what I mean? I jumped off multiple. No, I'm, I'm doing it again. I jumped into multiple waters. I loved it so much that I was like, you know what? I want one for just the regular season, not for the summer. So I got the full gold version and I absolutely love it. So I think you guys should also get it because I just feel like it is one of the nicest chains I've ever worn. Okay, moving on to the next category. This one is actually a bag purchase. I got this bag from Essence. So this one is by the brand Staud, S-T-A-U-D, and I got it from Essence. You can probably get it from other retailers, but I just wanted to call out this bag because this is probably one of my favorite bags. This also comes in black. So there's black with gold and silver on it. I got the silver version because I have enough black bags. I feel like it's a really good dress up or dress down bag. I have definitely dressed up with this bag, also dressed down. This design is more in the mid range. So it's definitely not as cheap as like if you were to go to, I don't know, like H&M and buy a bag, but this one is definitely in the mid tier around $300 ish. I feel like I really care about quality now ever since I started having a bag collection and you guys can check out my luxury bag collection, by the way. But ever since I started investing in really nice bags, whenever I try on a really cheap bag, I actually notice it immediately. So I find to that now kind of like the lowest and the minimum kind of like price range I would go for is this one just because I genuinely feel like the quality speaks for itself. Just wanted to share that in case anyone was looking for a bag in that price range. The next category, I want to do two that's kind of like wellness and home. So the first one is Ritual. So this product here, it is by a brand called Ritual and this is their Sin Biotic. This genuinely changed my gut health. I feel like this reduced my bloating a lot. What I like about it is a few things. Number one, this is a trio. It's not just a probiotic. It's a probiotic prebiotic and postbiotic. And then the other thing is that you don't need to refrigerate this. So that's honestly such a bonus for me because the probiotic that I used to take, I had to put it in the fridge and then I just like couldn't travel with it because I couldn't put it in the fridge. When you start it, make sure you kind of ease your tummy into it. So maybe do like every other day, every two days or something. I didn't know this, 
And when I first started it, I went every single day right away. And I swear to God for a week, my stomach was so upset. I couldn't really eat. I was like going to the bathroom all the time, but that's because it's readjusting your chemicals in your gut. But ever since I started taking this consistently, this is not an ad by the way, this is genuinely, I bought this and I tried it and I absolutely love it. I do have a discount code if you want to save, but the discount code, you can have a discount code. Like this is literally just like their referral discount code. Once you order, there's a page where you can like refer people. So anyway, if you guys are interested, this is just the discount code that they would give any other customer. If you want to use it, you can save $15 off of your purchase. I'm actually on their monthly subscription service. I also want to show you guys the pill because it looks kind of cool. It just like looks like this and it's actually really minty. I'm actually going to take one right now in front of you. Is there even water in this? Okay, next kind of category are things that I've been using in the bathroom. The first one I want to share with you is this toothpaste brand. I know you guys are like, what in the world? But the reason why I want to share with you is because this is the most aesthetic toothpaste I have ever seen in my life. It comes in different colors. I'm actually using their blue one right now. I think the blue one focuses on whitening, but this one I have completely finished. This is by the brand Before Company. And just take a look at this packaging. Like, tell me if I leave this in my bathroom, people are not going to think this is actually like face wash or something. This honestly is so, so, so good to brush with. And it's just honestly like it's still very minty. It's very comparable to other toothpaste and it's just also just very aesthetic. So anyway, I highly recommend if you guys are interested and the tube is huge, but also at the same time, it's not too big that you can't travel with. This is a hundred milliliters. So I feel like if you guys are going on long trips, this is also perfect because you can carry this with you and this can last you forever. The next product that I want to share with you that's in my bathroom is this cleansing oil. If it kind of looks familiar because yes, this is by Benefit. Benefit started launching some skincare products and obviously they were heavily a brow specifically and makeup company. So when they started launching skincare, I was kind of curious to see how their skincare was going to perform. And oh my God, I have only good things to say about this oil cleanser. The first thing I want to say is that also my mom loves it. So now you have two solid reviews to kind of back this product. The first thing about this product that I want to say is that that the packaging is amazing. And the reason why this is important is because first of all, I think this is aluminum, which means that it is recyclable. If you guys didn't know, aluminum is one of the only materials that is infinitely recyclable. The second thing is that the applicator is super easy. As you guys know, I do like cleansing oils better than cleansing bombs, purely based on the fact that it is easier to use in the shower. When I go into the shower, I will turn on the water. My hands are still dry. I will immediately pump this on my hand and rub it all over. I find that cleansing bombs, the effect of cleansing bombs are still amazing and they work really well. Some of them even arguably better than certain cleansing oils. However, it's just the whole unscrewing and having to like scrape your hand into a bomb. That is just for me, like in the shower, I just prefer this type of experience. More importantly, as a cleansing oil and coming from a initially makeup company, I was heavily impressed. Like genuinely, I would choose this cleansing oil above a lot of cleansing oils I have used. This is my passion when it comes to cleansing oils. I love it so much. And this is very, very comparable and I highly recommend. The next three products that I wanna share with you, I actually got most of these products off Amazon. I will link it in my Amazon storefront. And this has been my January and late December game changer. I feel like I'm so aggressive with my hand gestures, but honestly, this is how much this has changed my life. For context, before I even show you what the product is, for context, I need a little weight during the holidays because who didn't? If you didn't gain weight, like honestly, you're not to be trusted. I did gain a little weight and yet every single person asked me if I got chin liposuction or something because they were like, oh my God, why is your jaw so defined? I know this answer is probably going to sound annoying because I saw this on TikTok and someone's like, why is your jaw so sharp? Please don't tell me it's washa. Okay. I am going to tell you it's washa. However, 
I am gonna tell you the trick of gua sha that did it for me. And if you don't know what gua sha is, it's basically a tool. It originated from, I believe, China. And it's when you basically just like, you know, lymphatic drain your face. However, it has never had an effect on me because I was never consistent with it because I could never, I don't know why, I just couldn't incorporate it into my routine. Then I saw a TikTok video that changed my entire life. It said, do your gua sha in the shower. So ever since I started leaving this in the shower, I've been gua sha every single day, night and day, which then brings me to my products that I use for gua sha. The first one is this one, which is for my face. And I'll link a couple of options that I wish I got because I kind of wish that I got the stainless steel one instead of this one. So I'm going to link that one instead for you. But I got these two in January for my body and it's so good. This one specifically is for my waist and I find that that works really well. This one, I love it for my legs, my arms, my stomach. I just go ham with this. And I just honestly, I think consistency is best. My advice and my favorite of the month is leaving it in the shower. That's genuinely what's gotten me to actually gua sha. So I highly recommend you trying that. In terms of face wash, here are the two best face washes to do with your gua sha. The first one is the Biosance Squalene and Amino Aloe Gentle Cleanser. This one is gonna work on everybody, okay? And the other great thing about this is that the applicator is a pump. It's going to make it super easy. You guys know how much I like this because it's already empty and because of the increased frequency of me gua sha I use this up so quickly. The second one is the Use to the People Face Cleanser. That one is amazing. It's like the green one in the glass bottle, also a pump, so it's easy to just like even put on your gua sha if you want, but I usually put it on my hand. That one is my Vancouver one. Anyway, you guys need to try this combination because I'm telling you, I gained a little weight, but people thought I lost weight because of my face. The last three products I want to recommend to you are some skincare products. The first one is a moisturizer that is amazing for underneath your makeup. This is the Olay moisturizer. If you guys feel like this looks familiar, it's because I've done an ad for them. All my ads I stand by and I always tell them I have to review before I perform the ad. But this one smells amazing, only not recommended for people who want a non-fragrant moisturizer. But for those of you who don't care or prefer it, this one is amazing. It's very, very light on the skin. I am completely done the product with like just reminiscences of, you can see like the nail scratches, but it is honestly just so smooth and light for underneath your makeup and it has a vitamin C. So if you're someone who's too lazy to put on a vitamin C serum, which you should, this is a great two in one and great for underneath your makeup. And I just cannot see anyone not liking it. Well, except for the people that don't want fragrance, but I already mentioned that. The two vitamin C products that I have finished that I absolutely think you guys will love. The first one is La Roche Posay. This one is the vitamin C serum that I use all throughout my travels last year, and I just recently finished it. And then the other one is the Vivier Radiance Serum. Okay, this is, this is the vitamin C serum that is from a medical grade company that is Canadian. The two differences are, and I, this is why I have two recommendations. Honestly, effectiveness, I would say it's actually quite similar. The only thing that I will say is that this one is a little bit more potent and it's about the consistency. Honestly, a lot of skincare products will work on a lot of people. It's about your preference. This one has a thicker and stickier consistency, whereas this one is a little bit more liquid. I know some people hate the liquid. They feel like, I don't know, they just like don't like it. They think that their serums should be a little bit more tacky. Other people find that that type of texture is a little too thick and they think that it's just really heavy on their face. I honestly think it's preferencing. For me personally, I like the watery consistency a little bit more when it comes to vitamin C's, but this one in terms of efficacy is still amazing and one of the top in the industry. You can also easily buy this at a drugstore, like if you can, you can buy this at Shoppers. This one is a little bit more potent, so you're gonna have to buy this in a different place, like for example, BSE, which I've recommended before, or even just like another esthetician or just your, you know, Medi Spa, they'll probably have this product. So it's really up to you, but these are the two vitamin C's that you guys can see I've completely finished and 
yeah, that I recommend. So that is the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys are not new here, I hope you guys enjoyed the comeback of this video. And if you guys are not new here, I hope you guys enjoy the comeback of my favorite series. I will be having another one next month. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.